this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to turn anyone into a ghost. So uh, there's only one precaution for this and, and that is that uh, the, the photo that you need to use here needs to be something that is taken where it's quite dark or at night and there is basically just the subject matter that you want to actually turn into a ghost. So if there's too much things going on it's not going to make much sense so you want to get something that is a little bit more isolated maybe if you have like some brick walls or some uh, details that are quite dark and so forth that is okay but you predominantly want just the person you want to turn into a ghost so the way that we do this is uh, we're going to uh, duplicate our layer and now we're going to go to image adjustments and desaturate so we're going to turn it into a black and white image and uh, then we're going to duplicate this again with control and J and now we're going to go into filter blur and motion blur a motion blur will allow us to make it seem like the uh, the ghost figure is uh, not you know quite there. You don't want it. Um, you don't want it too blurry, so you can't make out what's going on. But you do want it to seem quite weird. So uh, something where like the eyes are starting to separate, something where you can see the details but not quite clearly. That's what you want to aim for. So. Uh, probably something around uh, 30 to like 90 or something like that would work quite well. We're going to go with here with uh, around like a 40. That'll do for now. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is just bring back some of the details in the face here so we can see that at least the face here a little bit more clearly. So we're going to add a layer mask and with a brush. And we want to make sure our brush has zero hardness and uh, of an appropriate size, so like 30. 35 for this image here and the low opacity I'm gonna even lower this further to like 5 what we're going to do here is just bring in some of the details of the person's face but I'm just gonna I'm clicking and letting go bringing back the detail very slowly in several passes make sure that you are using black here to bring back the detail and bring back any of the details you want um, for that person so you might want to bring back some details here on the neck maybe here on the on the hand here a bit and uh, you don't want to bring it back too much. If you go uh, in the other direction, then you uh, want to then with white do the same thing and on uh, you know hide some of the details back again. So you basically want to just bring back some of the details so you can see a bit clearly at least the face and keep everything else sort of like in this blurry motion. Now what you want to do is uh, select everything, shift and select everything, duplicate it, and then merge the layers selected. So what that'll do is just give us a copy of all the stuff that we have here. We're going to have a copy of it over over top everything. So all these effects are all into one layer here. And now with this, filter, distort, and diffuse glow. And with the diffuse glow, what we're looking to do here is actually bring that sort of ghost grainy nighttime shot image that is not so clear. So what we want to do here is play around with the graininess. So you want to add some grain, obviously because nighttime shots are quite grainy, so we're going to leave here at 3. The glow amount, you want to um, bring it in, not too much obviously because then you can't see what's going on. So the glow amount here for this case here, let's say something like a 9 or an 8 would do. And uh, the clear amount is how much of it does it the image get essentially washed out and uh, again if we put it too much then we're not adding too much of that effect so we want to bring it in so that we are actually sort of losing a bit of the details here on the person's face so something around 10 perhaps uh, 12 or something like that I'm gonna go for an 11 in this case to sort of wash out some of the details so we're going to 3 8 and 11 by no means is this scientific this is more of you know how you feel about the image the more you want to make it uh, you know more obvious or less obvious of, of this effect of it being blown out and very grainy. So we're going to click OK. And the last uh, effect here is uh, to just make it seem like it's a nighttime shot, which, uh, you know, with like a camera, it's, it's, you, got, you have like this, this green effect to things, right? It's green tinted. So we're going to add a new layer here. And with, uh, with a green selected here, select the green, we're going to fill that in. So that's Alt and uh, Backspace to fill it in with our foreground color. And then we're just going to change our mode here to color. So we have all our green in there, and then we can change our opacity uh, to cut down on that green and just bring in a little bit of that green. So something like a 20, 10 to 30 percent uh, works. I'm going to go here for a 20 percent here, 
And uh, there we are. So we have our ghost image uh, that seems like it was captured on a grainy shot at night and so forth. And it looks, you know, like it could actually be a ghost. So let me show you here the before and after. So here we have the image, the before, and here we have our ghost. There you if are. you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.